there, I'm Brian Taylor with Highway RV in Lake Alfred, Florida. Today I want to take you on a tour of this uh, 2010 Itasca Sonova. It's a 33C floor plan. This coach has only 13,300 miles. Itasca is Winnebago's High Line, uh, so it's got some really nice upgraded features. So let's go inside and start the tour in there. Then we'll do a quick walk around the outside. So this is the interior of our 2010 Itasca Sonova. Again, it's the 33C floor plan. This coach is a little over 34 feet long. It's about 34 foot 3 inches to be exact. And you're just not going to find more space in a 34 foot floor plan. We got three slide outs in here. And what's really special about this coach is that this main slide out on the driver's side, it stretches all the way from just behind the driver's seat all the way back here past the, uh, the bathroom to the rear bedroom. So this whole area would normally be a bottleneck area in a coach. You would, you would be a narrow area until you get up to the front slide outs or the rear slide outs. But with this model, it makes a very open floor plan. Uh, it's considered a full wall slide and it just really adds a lot of livability to the coach. That's why you have so much space in this relatively short uh, coach. So just kind of starting to walk around. Um, I'm going to point out the features on this coach as well as the condition. I'm going to tell you right up front, condition-wise, there's not a whole lot for me to pick on this. We're kind of known for pointing out the little flaws that we have on our coach. I'm just very upfront about the condition on these so that people don't waste their time uh, coming to look from out of town, uh, getting to look at a coach and not expecting it to be and, you know, have a flaw here or there. It's going to be really hard on this one because it's, it's only got a little over 13,000 miles and it, it just doesn't show hardly any wear or tear. It's about as close as you're going to find to a new coach. Starting here at the kitchen, we have a, a little corner cabinet right here with pretty uh, decorative uh, glass doors on it. Lots of cabinets up above here. Those are very deep, usable cabinets. They come out to a nice distance away from you. So, I mean, you just got a lot of space in there. Double bowl sink chrome fixtures. Don't very often anymore find that you have both a convection oven and a propane oven, but you do have that with this coach. This is a microwave and a convection, so you can bake or microwave in that oven. And then down here you have your propane stove, three burner cooktop with oven. Just don't see that very often. Usually they have one or the other. So that's really nice. You could be cooking brownies up here and cooking a turkey down here or, or whatever you want to do. We have more drawers along here, storage under the sink. Uh, so just a really nice kitchen area. And what's kind of nice about how this is laid out is your entry door is right over here. So uh, if you're doing it, in a, you know, hanging around outside on the patio, um, you're coming in and out of the coach a lot, you don't have to walk over your carpet. You don't have to walk through the living area uh, in order to get to the bathroom or to the kitchen. Uh, this is going to be where you're normally going, is, is over here to grab stuff from the kitchen to go out and do your cooking, or you're going to come over here to the bedroom. So you end up with not having such bad traffic areas. Um, it really works out nice. It's a nice way to lay a co coach out. Down here we have our breaker panels. There's our, our 120 volt electrical panel. This is our, our circuit breakers right here, our uh, battery circuit breakers. Uh, we have our battery cutoff switches down here, as well as some light switches so when you enter the door you can turn on a light so that you can see. Coming on over into the living area, we've got a, a European style lounger with a uh, recliner with ottoman. Uh, all done in ultra leather, very soft, kind of a buttery smooth uh, leather, uh, actually softer than real leather, and it actually costs more money than real leather. It's a really nice fabric to have. Uh, you see this a lot in, in, in almost exclusively in high-end coaches, you're going to find this ultra leather type uh, seating surfaces because they just hold up so well. Um, coming over here, you, this will convert into a bed. This folds out and makes into a bed. Again, it's in that ultra leather, just super soft uh, material. Zero wear or tear on either of those. They don't look like they've ever been sat in. It could be sitting on a lot uh, selling this coach is brand new. Up in here, we have more cabinetry up above, all the way down the length of this slide out. So this is your, your, your passenger side slide, and it extends from here back to the entry door. Coming on up here, we have uh, our, our passenger and driver seats. Those are in a matching uh, ultra leather fabric as well. No wear or tear on those. 
The carpeting in this area shows really no wear, no stains, no uh, traffic marks or anything. It's just uh, in just near perfect condition. You've got storage up here to the right hand side of the television. You've got a Jensen flat screen LCD television. Uh, you you uh, can feed uh, either the antenna signal to that or the DVD player. The DVD player is actually down here in your or in your stereo that you would use when you are driving down the road. So um, uh, that's all kind of a combined unit. You don't have any electronics up in this cabinet. It's just storage also. We have all of our manuals here. Again, this is from Winnebago Industries. You'll see Winnebago on here. Atasca is Winnebago's High Line. So you're going to see a few features on this that you might not see on the Winnebago equivalent. Uh, just a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, some people don't realize that Atasca is just actually a Winnebago uh, that's a little bit higher end, sort of like how you would have a, a Buick or a Cadillac as an upgrade of a Chevrolet. Uh, it's the same sort of concept. Um, so we have, uh, coming over here to our, to our cockpit area, you've got, uh, you know, of course, your, your cruise controls on the wheel. Uh, 13,400 miles on this coach. Over here we have our Power Gear electric leveling panel. So you have full electric leveling on this coach uh, with your jacks and all of that. So all those controls are there. Uh, the doghouse is very, uh, they call this the doghouse that covers up the engine compartment. It's very um, low profile in this coach. It doesn't uh, intrude into the area much at all. So it looks really nice. We have a very large dinette here, lots of space between uh, for the seating area here between the table and the back. Um, real comfortable. We've got cup holders over there. It's finished in this maple wood finish that matches the cabinetry. And all of this cabinetry is done in a washed, kind of an antiqued maple finish. Uh, you've got a little bit of a, of a glazing that's in the creases of the cabinetry. Gives it a nice high-end feel uh, and look. And you've got, uh, of course, real wood doors on that. Uh, we got a nice modern looking lighting fixture above the dinette. Uh, all of these ceiling uh, lighting fixtures are actually LED. Uh, LED is really nice because it doesn't throw off as much heat and it's also very energy efficient. So if you were dry camping, uh, if you were staying at a rest area and you didn't have your generator running, you can run these lights much longer than an incandescent bulb and use less power. So that's one of the, the features that you're going to see on, on newer coaches. Uh, coming on back, uh, we've already gone, gone through the kitchen here. Uh, that'll give you a nice view of it. We got a really pretty vinyl floor in here. Just a really nice uh, kind of a tile look. Here's our two-door refrigerator. Looks like it's never been used. Absolutely perfect condition. Behind that, you have your pantry. Winnebago never skimps on their pantry. They always have really nice pantry space. You've got nice slide out doors. That's kind of a trademark of Winnebago, uh, these slide out pantry doors. Um, usually they're a skinny little pantry for like a spice rack type of situation, but this has very nice large uh, doors that slide out, uh, drawers that slide out all the way to the back of the cabinet. More space here for you know whatever you might want to put in there. Drawers down below. And again, you can see just how wide this is right here. Um, coming back here to the, uh, to the uh, this is the workings of the coach right here and kind of the monitor panel. You got your HVAC controls for the front uh, air conditioner. You have uh, your power line energy management system that shows you what type of power you have, whether it be your generator, 50 amp, ser or 50 amp service, 30 amp service, whatever's coming into the coach. It's going to show you how many, uh, what the load is that you're using at any time and what features are available to the coach at that power. Um, when you're plugged into a, a gen generator, you're going to be able to run more things than if you're on 20 amps. So it's going to, it's going to do uh, all the power management for you on that. Right here is your um, tank level gauges, so you can see uh, visually uh, how much battery you have, how much LP gas, fresh water, uh, how, how full your black and gray water tanks are, all with that monitor. You turn your water heater on here, your water pump there, start your generator here. Here's a 110 volt water heater, so you can use both propane or electric to heat the water. Here's all your slide out controls for um, all three slide outs. Coming on back to the bedroom, something you'll almost never find in a 30, 34 foot coach is a king bed. 
and we have a full king bed in this coach um, and plenty of room to walk around. Uh, I mean, it's not, doesn't feel claustrophobic in here at all. You got a really nice size wardrobe right here with mirrored doors, lots of drawers below, uh, chest of drawers below that. And you got a nice little area here to put a television. Oh, actually, your television's up here, but you have, um, you could put other sources for the television. You could put a DVD player or a Blu-ray player, whatever you might want to put, plug it right into the jacks here and it'll feed this television. Uh, you also have your rear air conditioning controls there. And the whole bedroom is separated off with, a, uh, with, with uh, sliding wooden doors. There's two of them here that pocket back into here. So you have full privacy in the bedroom. We'll finish up our tour here of the interior in the bathroom. And uh, you can see it's a really nice, uh, pretty bathroom. We've got a, a, a mirrored corner uh, medicine cabinet that's very large. Lots of room in there. More cabinetry over above the toilet. We have our toilet down here. We have a glass enclosed or glass shower doors on the shower. Um, nice roomy shower. Uh, got a nice skylight up here that keeps it nice and bright. Um, and that pretty much finishes up the interior of this coach. It's uh, just a really, really nice design. I really like it a lot. Um, I just couldn't, couldn't imagine that you could ever find more livability in a 33 or 34 foot long coach. Uh, and this thing is just absolutely like new. If there was anything that I could point out in here that was a flaw, I would do it. But basically the countertops look perfect, the flooring looks perfect, the fabrics are perfect. There's just not, nothing to point out in this coach. You could literally sell this coach as a brand new coach if you didn't know it was a 2010, especially on the inside. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a tour of the outside. Okay, so this is the outside of our 2010 Atasca Nova, the 33C floor plan. Let's start at the front and I want to kind of show you around this coach. One piece windshield, you just don't see that very often. Big upgrade, something you usually find on high end diesel pushers. But when you're driving, that one piece windshield does not break up your view. It's nice and uh, nice open view of the road. And I just, I really, really like that about this coach. Uh, the front end of this does have the 3M diamond protection film on it. It is in absolutely perfect condition. There's no scratches in it. So because of that protection that's on the front end, there are no rock chips and no bug marks. The front end is absolutely flawless, perfect. Um, we have uh, black mirrors on this that are good. There are no bug marks on that or anything like that. We have side view cameras. So in addition to having your rear backup camera, when you put on your right or left turn signal, you're going to see a view out the right or left hand side of the coach. That is a very nice safety feature. Completely eliminates any kind of blind spots uh, on, on the coach. Uh, we've got Goodyear G670 tires on them, plenty of tread. This is only a 2010 coach. They, uh, so you've got tons and tons of life left on those. Um, we have our Dometic patio awning right here. Here's the uh, first of our slides. This is the uh, passenger side slide in for, or slide out for the, uh, for the living area. You got storage here. You got a full set of window covers, custom window covers for this coach that come with it. There's also storage here. These, these storage bays slide out with the slide out, so you do not have to bend down to access those slide or those bay doors while you have the slide out out. Um, so it's, it's a nice kind of thing if you don't like to kind of get down and have to get underneath the slide outs. That's a nice feature. Probably the most important thing on the outside of this coach, what really sets it apart is, is in the biggest option that it has is full body paint. This is all painted. These are not vinyl stripes. That was an option in 2010. So this was be, would have been quite a, 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 a big extra fee when you were buying the coach. Absolutely beautiful colors, kind of a champagne gold with black and this kind of a rusty copper kind of a metallic paint. And it just, the full body paint, I'm going to tell you, of any upgrades at all that you're looking at on a coach, you can't, you, I can't stress to you enough just how big of an upgrade full body paint is. Much easier to keep clean. 10, 15 years from now, you're not going to have any curling on your graphics like you would with, um, with vinyl. 
Uh, there's not ever going to crack or peel or fade. This is clear coat paint just like you have on your car. All you got to do is come out and, and wax it every once in a while and it's going to look good many, many years from now. As far as the quality of this paint, it's, 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 it's near perfect. I mean, there's, there's hardly even any scratches to, uh, to point out on it. Um, they just don't get any nicer. I know I've, I say that a lot about a lot of our inventory, but we're very picky about what we bring in here. And uh, if something is uh, flawed a lot, we, we just don't do well with it here. Um, we're not that kind of dealer. But this one's just extraordinarily clean. So um, right here is an external uh, entertainment center. If you open that up, you're going to see a stereo in there. Um, this bay right here is more storage. You have tire covers in there that come with the coach. Coming on back here, more storage. So we have lots of storage on this side. Uh, every one of these bay doors that you see is storage on this coach on the passenger side. you got more storage in here also. I don't know if I unlock this or not. There's your spare tire. This would be a great place to put some maybe of your more mechanical type stuff. This is just uh, kind of a plywood bottom. Be able to put, you know, a jack in there or whatever you might need. You don't see this on every coach anymore either. A lot of them don't include the spare tire, but it's nice to have that spare tire if you did have a breakdown and you didn't have roadside service. We would always recommend someone have roadside service. It's not as easy to change the tire on one of these as it is with your car. So. Um, but you do have that option. If you were if you were out in the you know, middle of the night and it's going to take a while for roadside service to get to you, you got the ability to go ahead and change that tire. We got a full aluminum ladder to access the roof. Beautiful paint scheme on the back of this coach. Really like it a lot. Um, the owners are including, this is a consignment piece, and the owners are including their Blue Ox tow bar with this. Uh, got a full Blue Ox tow bar system in excellent condition. Um, just no flaws at all on the back of this coach. It's, it's absolutely in perfect condition. Uh, there's a, a tiny little scratch here and tiny little scratch there. Uh, that's, that's about all that you can see. Um, coming around to the driver's side, we've got our hot water heater here. That's our hot water heater. There's your, uh, your Onan 5500 watt generator. This is also your gasoline fill right here. So that's where you'd put your gasoline in. Right here is your electric uh, cord. You got your, all of your electric there. It is a 50 amp coach, not a 30 amp coach. You've got uh, all of your, your hookup for fresh water and all that good stuff in here. Latch that down. And there you've got your wet bay. That's your sewer. So your sewer is separate from your electric. You've got your uh, black and gray water dump valves uh, along with uh, these are actually uh, come with the coach and they are just little uh, little ramps to put your sewer hose on to keep, uh, keep the water flowing out of it and the sewage flowing out of it without uh, standing in the hose. More storage here, here. And that is your LP gas right there. So you have a, two large storage bays, and this is where you would fill your LP tank right here. All in great shape, not all stained up, not all rusty, uh, really shows nice. Uh, you can tell a lot about a coach by looking at the bays. If people haven't taken care of those, you can probably bet that they've ignored some other stuff on the coach, but I like to see good, clean storage bays. Uh, usually people that keep those clean will really maintain their coach nicely. Again, this is a really good view of this big, huge slide that we have over here. If the cameraman maybe can step back. I mean, this thing is gigantic, stretching all the way from just, just behind the driver's seat all the way back here. So just a really gigantic uh, slide. Love this floor plan. Can't say enough about it. It is powered by the Ford V10, if I didn't mention that earlier. At 13,000 miles, it's just getting broken in. You couldn't ask uh, for anything any newer without buying new, and you're just going to lose a whole lot less money down the road when you go to sell. Um, a brand new motor home is going to take a big, huge depreciation hit right off the bat. You've eliminated a good portion of that uh, depreciation by buying a coach that's three, four years old. 
and uh, this is a perfect example. We are under $70,000 on this coach asking price, and you just couldn't ask for a whole, much, a whole lot more. Hope this tour has been helpful to you. Uh, like I said, I normally like to try to point out some flaws on them, but there's just no flaws to point out on this coach. I guarantee you will not be disappointed in this coach. If you're coming from a long distance away, we sell coaches as far away as Alaska and California. If you're coming from that sort of a distance, I'm absolutely certain that this, won't, this coach won't disappoint you. Um, so I hope it's been helpful for you. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us at Highway RV. My name's Brian Taylor. Uh, our office number is 863-956-1036. My cell phone number is 863-651-9365. You could also email us at highwayrv. Dot, uh, excuse me, highwayrv at hotmail.com. That's a great way of getting in touch with us. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. We'd be glad to help you out with financing on this coach and answer any questions that we could for you. Um, I thank you for taking the time to look at it and you have a great day and God bless.